Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to delete one document using find by ID and remove. Delete one person by the person's ID. You should use one of the methods find ID and remove or find one and remove. They are like the previous update methods. They pass the removed document to the database. As usual, use the function argument person ID as the search key. Okay, so let's go over to here. I noticed in the last one I missed deleting all this comments. I'm just going to do that now. If you haven't watched the previous videos on this, you might want to do that because um, I think that this could stack. But I just cleaned up the last one a little bit. So here we've got the same code. Delete one person by his or her um, ID, find by ID and remove. So we want to go person dot find by ID and remove. And my guess is that we only have to pass in the person ID and a callback function, uh, an anonymous callback function. And then we're going to end up having this guy um, in here uh, because our data will be in here. So um, removed. So here we'll have our error and here person to remove. Um, yeah, and now let's find find ID and remove. Find by ID and remove. So I come over here, command F. This is the documentation. So find by ID and remove. Jump down here. Your ID, your options, and your callback. Looks like your options are strict. It overwrites the schema. We don't really need to do that. The session associated with the query. I'm not sure exactly what that is. So it doesn't look like we need to do that though because if we do our ID and our callback, it deletes it. So let's go back over to our main one and we'll just write a little error function here. If there's an error, um, we're gonna return a console.log and we're going to log the error. And um, if not, then we're going to person ID is the search key. So we use person ID as the search key because it's passed in here. They're similar to the previous update methods. I guess we return the person to remove. We might want to say something like that, the person to remove. Um, let's stop the server because we want to make sure that we start with a clean server, um, the one that's reflecting our code here. And then, um, yeah, I'm just going to take my URL from the project and go back over to here and paste this one in and say I've completed the project. All right, that's great. So let's go back over here and just see if we can refactor this at all. First off, now that we know we're working, we don't need the instructions in a comment anymore. That just makes our code ugly. Um, we've got our remove by ID, our function. Well, we can get rid of this and make it an arrow function. So it's modern JavaScript. And as well, we can, we can also do that here because um, that's, a, that's our uh, anonymous function does, is, can be written like this and it's a little cleaner. Um, I still like the idea of calling it person to remove your person or your person uh, removed person would be even better because by the time you get to the removed person you're really just telling them this guy is this person is this this person's gone now um, so yeah I think that that's it that's good for this one um, this makes it a little bit more succinct if we were to stop this and run it again and we came over to our first one. We could just rerun it. Um, and we see that, yeah, just changing it that much is helpful. I, have, I hope that you guys see the difference between maybe what this looks like here and then what it looks like when we're done. Um, I, I remember refactoring was a big deal for me to be able to figure out what was going on with code. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.